What's up guys, it's Jessica with Home Sweet Farmhouse and I'm thinking about changing the name of this channel. I wasn't gonna say that and it just came out. Anyway, as you can see, I've got a haul going on here. I'm gonna actually move these so I have a little bit of room. Um, but I wanted you to see we're doing Marshalls and Dollar Tree today. And I went to a different Dollar Tree than where I have been in the past. There's like nothing behind me. I'm figuring out this decorating thing. <laughs> I'm actually in my dining room. Our old couch is in our dining room right now because we need to figure out a place for it. Um, I actually just am working on cleaning out one of the bedrooms today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have some storage in there. So we might go ahead and put the couch in there and kind of, I don't know, maybe I'll set up like a little crafting area. We shall see. I'm also going to be doing a, I hope, I'm planning on doing a very simple DIY. It's actually one part Dollar Tree from the bonus section. So it was a, a three or five dollar item. We'll find out when I get to it. And then a piece from Michael's that I bought and I did use, it was full price at Michael's uh, from the Halloween section, but it was actually a pretty decent price to begin with. And then because it was full price, I got the 20% off of it at Michael's. So. Yeah, we're gonna do <laughs> that DIY, really super simple. I, I Cross your fingers that it turns out well because I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna film it right later on today, probably maybe even tomorrow. So let's jump into this haul. I am like super stoked about everything I got, especially since the Dollar Tree I, I went to has the bonus section. now. There's, I have never been to a Dollar Tree with the bonus section before and this was my first time. And while I don't love the idea of like, you know, I, my whole life, everything was a dollar in the store and now there's three, there are $3 items and $5 items. I actually, in some ways do like it. I did, I will warn you, I pulled some pieces out of my haul because they're going to my sister and um, her kids and they watch my videos. So let's start. You know what, since I said Christmas, they've started putting out Christmas at Dollar Tree and I did not buy much and I am not into gnomes, but I know that that is very trendy. And they had the gnomes out that are like, they don't have the legs on them. They did those last year, but these I think are new this year. So they are smaller. So if you remember from last year, it's like this without the legs, except they're bigger. Do you remember what I'm talking about? They still have those again this year. But this year, they also have these little guys that have the legs on them. I only found these two colors, the red body and the gray body. Um, but if you are into gnomes, let me tell you, they had so much signage already out with the gnome theme. They had like a whole end cap that was all Christmas with the gnome theme. I would have bought more because it really was cute, but I'm just not into the gnome thing. I do know my mom is into gnomes, so I might go ahead and send these to her. Um, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea that Christmas is already starting to come out at Dollar Tree. And then, and then, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I could not pass these up. I don't really use pencils and I don't even know if I have a pencil sharpener. I'm gonna have to look. But these are, they do not have the um, Dollar Tree information on them. They are Dixon Canada. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a Dixon USA and a Dixon Canada. So it's the Dixon Ticonderoga Company. And you get two, four, six, eight pencils and they are all in these like safari uh, wild animal patterns. I love these. So you get eight, oh, it says eight on the front, eight uh, for a dollar. As you can see here, they are not the Dollar Tree brand. They are 100% real wood. It says, what just happened to the lighting? Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about that. So 100% real wood. I loved the patterns and the colors. It was the only one I saw. If this is up your alley, go searching for it. Um, it's probably one of those things that, you know, Dollar Tree gets randomly and maybe not even throughout, I don't know. So let's get into some Halloween that I got at Dollar Tree. I did pick up a frame, just a simple black frame. It sounds like it's an actual glass one. Um, you know, it's just a four by six. I am gonna be 
showing you this at the end of the video as well. Um, I also picked these up. Now, I as they are, they're not me. They're, they are not me, but they've got this cute little skeleton on the front and they are, they are like the clear plastic. Now, the size is amazing and because they are, um, I don't know, because of the size, even this way, I like them better, I think this way, I thought that, I don't know, spray painting these black would be super, super cute to incorporate. I, it is a DIY, so I will, you know, probably include it in my, if, if I don't include the DIYs in this video, I'll do a Halloween DIY video because I have a, a couple of them that I wanna show you guys. Um, super simple though, it's just gonna be spray painting these guys black, but I like the size of them, so I went ahead and grabbed two so that I could get them painted for Halloween. Um, and then, I, you know, I was really unsure about this, but one thing that I'm getting ready to show you, I need it needs batteries. So I figured I'd grab the ones at Dollar Tree just to see how they work. They're AAA and um, there are six of them. So if you get, I don't have any experience with Dollar Tree batteries. I don't know how well they're gonna work. If they just last the Halloween season, I'll be fine with that um, because that's what they're for, is for an item from Halloween. So let me go ahead and grab another bag. I grabbed some more oh, creepy cloth. I grabbed a couple just because I'm not really sure yet how much I'm gonna need. Um, I'm probably, I don't have a ton of area to decorate yet just because I don't have a ton of furniture. So I don't, yeah, like normally I decorate like tops of tables and stuff like that. I don't really have a whole lot of that. So we'll see, but I did grab some more creepy cloth. They do have it out. I grabbed the black. They have them in different colors. So if you want black, make sure you double check before you go to the checkout. These were so adorable. Their fall section this year is actually pretty darn cute. I'm not really decorating for fall, so I, I'm not into it, but these stickers are everything. Look at that, guys. The pumpkins with the like cheetah print. How, and that one looks more like a ladybug, but I'm sure they were still trying to go for the cheetah print. How adorable are these stickers? If this is you, you need to run and like grab everything they've got because these are adorable. I just, I can't believe they put something this cute out for only a dollar, only a dollar. So I also grabbed a couple of cards, which you're gonna see again, either later in this video or in a DIY video. I know I grabbed this card last year. It was so cute, I grabbed it again. Um, I'm probably gonna find it when I when I open up my Halloween. And then I grabbed this one as well. Again, just for the outside um, of the card. Of course, the inside's cute. What you booing? <laughs> what you booing this Halloween? How cute is that? But anyway, I'm really drawn to the real black cats. That's what I'm. That's that's my thing. So grab those. All right, I got one more bag of Dollar Tree, and I think it is all Halloween. So I grabbed this. I'm not sure if I grabbed this last year or not, but I feel like this galvanized pumpkin might be new. So it says, trick or treat, happy haunting, haunted houses, jack o lanterns, toil and trouble, cobwebs, and black cats. So that was just super cute and I liked it. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's, I don't think this is new for this year, but the, galvanized pumpkin might be new. I'm, I'm not sure, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments if you think that's new or not. I also grabbed this one and I don't know what happened to the ear, oh my goodness. I don't know, let's see if I can get it in the shot. Okay, um, I don't know if this is new or not. I don't feel like I've seen this before, but maybe three pumpkins with the little black cat and the tail coming up here, how adorable is that? Now that's not a very realistic looking cat, but it's also not too terribly cartoony, which is why I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, so I thought that was really cute as well. And all the pumpkins have like different faces on them. You know, just the attention to detail, they don't have to do. I mean, this is a dollar. This is a dollar. They don't have to do all this detail, but it is really, really cute that they do. And the one thing I would say in Dollar Tree, if you're listening, the one thing with Dollar Tree is like, please stop with all the glitter. 
I don't like literally no more glitter zero glitter I'm done with the glitter let me know if you're with me I'm pretty sure this is new I don't think I've seen it again with all the glitter but sees all knows all how cute I like I, I really like this one without the glitter <laughs> though it has a ton of glitter on it without the glitter this is like this would rival something that you would pick up at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Oh my goodness, it is so adorable. Sees all knows all. Or, or even Michaels. Michaels has this kind of um, Halloween decor out as well, the like psychic kind of stuff. Even though psychic, I don't really like equate psychics with Halloween, but anyway, that they do. That's what Michaels decor, I know last year and what I've seen so far this year has really still been around this kind of theme for Halloween. If they just took the glitter off, this would really rival anything you could get there and you'd pay a lot more for it there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this back here behind me to kind of help frame the shot since I don't have any decor around me. Yet this so if you are in, into, you know what? No, I need to move this so you can really see. Like Dia de los, de la, what is it? Dia de los Muertos. I don't, I, I don't have a Spanish <laughs> accent by any means. Dia de los Muertos uh, or Day of the Dead is what we call it. How cute is she? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And she's a good size. I th I've sent one of these already to uh, my nieces so they can see it. How cute is she? Oh my goodness. I have a few other pieces that are um, Day of the Dead that I do decorate with for Halloween so she's gonna go really pretty with them. How cute is she? Oh my goodness, okay. So I picked up a few other items that are, you know, kind of staples around Halloween. The LED tea light candles, I got them in black. Again, you get two for a dollar. And I think it says 240 hours total, so probably each one will give you 120 hours. They do have a flickering effect and an on-off switch. Uh, and I think, do they come with, it doesn't say that you need to buy the battery okay it already contains the lithium battery inside so you don't need to buy anything with those these are so stinking cute and you do need two AA batteries per pack to make these work uh, the LED light sets now I grabbed what I think are purple lights at least that was what it looks like Let's see if you can there we go on the packaging, I grabbed two sets to give them a try. Um, they do just look like regular purple lights, nothing like no shapes or anything. They, they do have, I think I think I saw like bats, maybe some pumpkins. Um, that's just not me, so I didn't grab them. But I am gonna give these a try this year. You do need batteries to make those work. So let me finish out everything else I got before we get into the bonus items. So I have not really used the Dollar Tree paint. I typically go for like either Waverly um, or was it Apple Barrel, which you get at Walmart. So you get like a small bottle of Apple Barrel, like maybe this much um, for usually 50 cents, unless the prices have gone up. I haven't been there in a while. So I decided to try the Crafter Square in the, the purple. I liked this purple shade. I don't need a ton of purple, um, but it is for the DIY that I was talking about. So I grabbed a few other items. This, oh God, how cute is this? So they didn't have a ton left. I think they were just really picked over. Of their, They always, for uh, seasons, they put out like extra special cards that are like really high end. You've seen them before. I, I've shown them to you on this channel before. So they put some out for Halloween and there weren't many left. So I grabbed what I thought was the absolute cutest because y'all know I'm just all about the dogs and the cats. So this was 
I, I was really drawn to this one, so it's got all the dogs and um, two cats, three dogs, two cats, dressed up for Halloween, and it says, Happy Halloween, that's what it says. I don't know why, it's like, I can't get it to focus on, can you see that? Ah, maybe there, Happy Halloween. <laughs> and then on the inside it says, from our family to yours, so I really got it for the outside of the card. How cute, how cute, and then I grabbed they have some had some more dog stickers. Um, these are just obviously not Halloween, uh, just for me. But I thought they were really cute, and so they're like full sized uh, breeds of dogs. So it looks like a, a lab, a pomeranian, um, a beagle, and uh, yeah. So really, really cute. And then this one uh, again, you get you get a poodle and. Um, and is that like a corgi, but then you also get some extras like the bone and the heart and the wolf. The wolf, the O's have, it looks like a Dalmatian and a Husky and then, so really, really cute. I mean, for a, that's amazing for a dollar. So let's get to the bonus items from Dollar Tree and I still have a whole bag from Marshalls, guys. Let me tell you, if you wanna see what I got. Um, so this was a $3 item in the bonus section. So really good, like look at this. Like it's shoulder to shoulder for me. This is a good size piece. Um, it just says Happy Halloween and the back, the cutout, these are all cut out, the backs and the um, lettering are cut out and then behind them it, there's just uh, black. So this piece on the back is black and then these are cut out with the bats and the Happy Halloween. So really, really adorable. It is what something we're gonna be using for a DIY project uh, because obviously I don't, you know, this raw wood isn't, isn't, isn't me. It could be some of y'all and that's wonderful. More power to you, less, less work you gotta do, right? So I've got one more item from the bonus section and y'all, I was like, what? This is a $5 item and it is an LED lantern like what even and it, it has the dia de los muertos this feels like it might actually mm, no i think it's just a heavy duty plastic um yeah i think it's just a heavy duty plastic the beautiful led candle in the middle this is what i needed the batteries for so i'm gonna give that a try i think i need you know what Let's get the batteries put in. Okay, are we ready? Oh, it's too bright in here. But look, the, can you see there? The candle does light up. So when it's darker, it's too bright in here. But the candle does, let's see, can you see that? It even flickers, the candle does light up and it flickers like a real, like it were a real candle. So. When it's dark, that is going to be gorgeous. Like, okay, I am just amazed with the bonus section <laughs> at Dollar Tree. So let's go to Marshall's. And oh my goodness, look at this guy. Not terribly realistic, but incredible. Incredibly detailed. In fact, let me go ahead and can I get her out. Maybe get her out of the plastic. Yes. So before I get rid of the plastic, she was $7.99. And like on the surface, I was like, that's kind of expensive. But when you see the detail on her, okay. So we've got the stitching in her ears, you see. Um, whiskers, a nose, her eyes, of course. Look at all of the beautiful detailing around her legs. And then the tail is beautiful. And then the detailing we've got back here as well 
I was like, okay, I, I get it. I get the $7.99 price tag now. So, turn, turn that off. She is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm not gonna burn her, even though this is a candle. I don't have any intention of burning this candle. Um, it's just too beautiful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use her in my Halloween decor. And then I think this is the last Halloween item. I couldn't pass this up. First off, we've got the cat. And it, you know, they're doing the, the buffalo check, which is fine. But look down here. A beautiful witch and her magical cats live here. It was only $5.99, which I know it's a small piece, but I wanted to get more than one of these. And I talked myself out of it. I said, you're gonna be okay with one. I love this. I have seen a bunch of signs that are so, so, so cute that say something along the lines of like, um, you know, this magical witch and her little monsters live here. Or this, you know, a witch and her little monsters and one handsome devil live here. I don't have kids, guys. So this was when I, I and I have been like coveting these pieces going, they are so adorable. I love the sayings, but they don't apply to me because I don't have kids. So when I saw this, Yeah, I actually might, I don't know yet, just paint in here and do the cat all black. I'm not sure if I'm in love with the, oh, by the way, look, you get the, the gingham or the buffalo check all the way around. I'm not sure if I love that part of it. We'll see. Um, I, could, I, I couldn't, couldn't live without it. All right, so I have a confession to make with these last three items. I, I have not been a candle person for many years and recently I have decided that these sand and paws, I'm, I'm looking here to see, these the sand and paws are not that bad um, as far as candles go. Absolutely adorable and I have found scents that I actually like like for the most part the majority of candles I don't like the way they smell look at this one first off look at that okay and then this is a mango tangerine oh, that I'm like I wish you could smell it's so light and beautiful. It reminds me of, it reminds me of like frozen drinks at the beach. <sighs> yes. So I got this one. This one I probably won't burn until maybe spring um, just because of this, this scent. Ooh. Okay, how? Beautiful and adorable is that. I gotta take a phone call, I'll be right back. Okay, so that was my vet calling, which is why I had to stop and answer. So I also found this one, which will be really, really cute with the other Dia de los Muertos. Am I getting better at that? Dia de los Muertos? I don't know, Day of the Dead um, decorations. Though this color isn't really in my Halloween palette. It is called Haunted Harvest, and it is, okay, let me see if I can explain this to you. It's very light for a fall scent. There's a little note of maybe like a cinnamon. Ugh, it's just, I don't know a better way to describe it. It smells like the, um, not as strong as the cinnamon brooms where 
uh, when you walk into the grocery store or wherever when they have their cinnamon brooms out, but like a very light version of that. And I love me some cinnamon brooms. So when I smelled this, I was like, yes, please. By the way, all of these candles at Marshall's are in this size are nine, I'm sorry, $7.99. These are the, what size are these? 12 ounce jars with two wicks in them. So that was adorable. And I've got one more that I grabbed. This, oh, this is another Halloween one, look at this. Oh my goodness. So the cat is dressed up as a ghost and the dog is dressed up as a witch, which is so cute because normally when you uh, put cats in Halloween, they are associated with witches and a lot of the um, dog stuff, the dogs are dressed up as ghosts. So it's like they switched it, which is, so cute. So again, um, this one is called, this one has the like orange -y glass, which is cute. I don't do a lot of orange in my Halloween. Most of my Halloween, if you've been following me for any length of time, most of my Halloween, you know, is black and purple, but I did want to incorporate some orange into it this year. So this works out well. This, oh my goodness. This one is called Witch's Brew and I don't even know, this one is so light and airy, it doesn't make me think of fall at all. It actually kind of smells more like summer to me. But, I don't, it almost has a citrus note to it, but I don't even know how, how else to describe it to you because it's not anything I feel like I've smelled before. They had some other really cute ones, but I didn't like the, the fragrance. I didn't like the scent. So I didn't get them because I didn't like the fragrance. But I have decided that I do like this Sand and Paws brand of candles. So they are my new go-to. And now I need to clean up my haul. I want to know what your favorite pick from today's haul was. Let me see if I can decide. I don't know if I can decide. There were so many cute items, but I think because I was so excited to see this, this is gonna have to be my pick of the haul. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item is from today's haul. This is it for me. Again, I like the more I look at it in the viewfinder, I think I might wanna paint the cat black. What do you think? You're gonna have to let me know in the comments and uh, tell me what you think. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me on today's haul. I can't wait to see you in our next video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also if you are not subscribed, make sure you do subscribe and then click the bell for all notifications. Thank you so much for being here with me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support on this channel. Until next time, bye.
Thank you.